Hi, dear all Espresso TV watchers. Now we do an English version uh, of the Profitech Duo, uh, which is uh, first of all the Grinder Pro T64. It is a stepless adjustment, and um, yeah, here we see where the coffee powder gets out uh, from the uh, grinder. And here we can hang the filter holder inside, so it's quite a practical solution. Here one cup, two cups, and uh, when I start here and press again, then it's like a manual dosage, okay? So uh, it's quite a cool system. It's also uh, cool because of hand-free and uh, also because you can adjust the dosage here with this uh, PID, the dosing time. So PT1 means then 4 seconds, so then you can shift to uh, 4.2 seconds for example, and then you have PT2, this means portion 2, and uh, there you can adjust then the time from, uh, yeah, oops, no, here again, so let's see here. Let's wait a moment here. PT2, chop 6.6 .6 or what, whatever you need, which time you need. And then when you wait a little bit, then uh, the point uh, rises and then it got uh, memorized. So more or less that's a, a very easy system. Uh, Profitech is a daughter of uh, ECM Germany. And uh, it's uh, uh, yeah manufactured. Uh, this machine here, the Pro T300, is manufactured in Italy, and this grinder is manufactured in Germany. So uh, here we have the smallest dual boiler. It's uh, uh, yeah quite reduced in the form or shape. It's a very uh, a simple, stylistic uh, machine with a, a ring brew unit and uh, yeah, it's also with a PID. Here you can adjust the espresso temperature and the steam temperature is adjusted by presser starts. Then you have to open the machine and adjust it manually. But 1.2 bar is quite okay for the steam. If you want to have a higher steam temperature, then you have to open the machine, okay? But uh, I think uh, 94 is a little bit much for espresso temperature. So I prefer to have it a little bit less, like a 90 degree. It's of course depending on the roast. When you have a darker roast, then uh, you have a higher temperature. Here with this button, where you uh, start the brewing process. Yeah, and of course when you want to lower the temperature, then I recommend just to uh, flush a little bit. And here by flushing you also see the shot counter, okay? Here, it's up. So, now let's wait which temperature is shown. Okay, now it goes down to 77 because I took quite a lot of water. Now it's uh, rising up uh, very fast. So within, um, yeah, let's say 20 seconds it has the temperature. Okay, so now let's try a shot here. Filter holder shall be hot. And uh, we press the double button, of course, for double dose. Yeah, the coffee powder shall be quite fine in uh, like more or less uh, that van der Waals is like gravity. You can see it with the agglomeration process starting and also you when you uh, feel it between the two fingers, it's like fine sand, okay? Now you press here with a little bit of pressure, of course, like 20 kilo, and then you uh, insert here the filter holder in the brew unit and start the brewing process. And then we will see if it's uh, good or not. Uh, yeah, it runs out too fast, so this is, uh, let's say, a slight under extraction because the quantity is too high and uh, this is of course, uh, uh, then you have to adjust the grinder towards a finer degree, but even it's a little bit under extracted. Uh, 
Yeah, it smells nice, so it's not uh, uh, too bad, okay? Here we also see this crema. It's up. Now we start the automatic foaming. Here we can do, of course, the lazy bone method. In this way, it's, uh, uh, yeah, let's say uh, you also have the hands free. You can just listen uh, whether sound is okay or not. And uh, when the temperature, when this milk jug gets hot, uh, you should stop, of course, this process of the foaming. And then here with SpongeBob, you can remove the uh, milk and then also uh, use once again the um, steam function because uh, due to turbulences some of the um, milk can go into the steam pipe and this is not so nice. So here the consistency is quite okay. It's uh, I think acceptable. It's a little bit too much. So for example if you like to do espresso macchiato you can do in this way and here for a, a normal cappuccino you can just insert the milk and uh, yeah, do some uh, latte art experiments. Most important is that the brown stuff of the crema is coming up and the bubbles are not that big uh, because then the surface is bigger and uh, the taste uh, develops in a better way. So. All in all, it's a very small, uh, comfy uh, uh, dual boiler which heats up very fast and also the grinder is very comfy and uh, practical. So for me, uh, I would say, uh, yeah, for this budget, it's uh, absolutely okay. It has uh, 95 points out of 100 in a price range uh, up to 1500 euro the machine and uh, this grinder for home use is really cool because it has the hands-free option and one two button and uh, also the manual dosage and the uh, qual quality of the uh, grind uh, or the grinding degree the coffee particle distribution is quite okay it's not comparable to the very expensive uh, Matza grinder or Malkönig K30 or EK43, but for home use it's cool. Okay, ciao!